Hi everybody, it's Rob. This is video number six in the image training course and we're covering the free images. I'm just going to run through a couple of these but ultimately if you did a Google search for free image places you will find a huge amount. Flickr is a really cool one because you get normal people, people's pictures. Flickr is the public I think is the word I'm looking for so this was a Boston search and if you look it comes up with a pretty nice selection knowing that room if you remember correctly on some of these others when I searched for Boston Terrier let me copy this and show you the difference so Oh, sorry, wrong button. Okay, so if I go to vintage, this is public domain pictures. By the way, look up vintage images in public domain and you will find a fair amount of other stuff. So let's just see what happens if I try Boston Terrier each one. So what, what, I, what I need to tell you is that you're going to get a different set of <coughs> results no matter where you go. So public domain pictures, uh, if you look... There's a fair amount of Bostons, but a fair amount of not Bostons. That's the city Boston. And this one comes up repeatedly, so somebody's uploading it. Shutterstock, so paid, by the way. So watch out before you think, yes, that's what I'm looking for. And you have to go and buy it. Well, which I bought a fair amount of them, right? So what's cool is with public domain is vintage very often but let's check here this was also free classic images so this is also for the old stuff so vintage pin up art i don't know what it's up under here free images classic images so i mean you can do vintage ads if you're doing print on demand that's pretty cool Travel posters. Let's go and check out what a travel poster was all about. Whoa, the Great Northern Railway. Oh, come on, let's see what New Jersey was on about. Now, this to me is absolutely stunning from, and it's perfectly usable. So, the quality of the image looks okay. Um, it's obviously scanned or, or, or photographed. Pennsylvania Railroad, you get to go to the New Jersey Seashore. <laughs> Sorry, don't make <laughs> noises, Rob. So, uh, I don't know how to make it go back. <clears throat> was I in this one? No, I wasn't. So, when you click big, you got a hiccup and then watch out for open it in a new, 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 new window. For print on demand, for me, this is stunning. I mean, if I'm going to get a t-shirt with that on it, I'm going to be loving it. I'm not sure about this one. Scabness. But all of these. Oh, stop it. Can't do a right click and open. Doesn't matter. Okay, so. <clears throat> right, free images was one that uh, I did a search and, and everybody said get it. Let's do my Boston Terrier thing here. Boston Terrier. Right, now, obviously, so they free images connected to iStock that they get to run the iStock ad. Well, it's just an affiliate thing, I'm not sure. And look, a nice enough collection of Boston Terriers. These two look like mine, although mine's an old one of that and the and, and, uh, big girl like that and I see that pose all day check here more our stock the, the paid ones are, are pretty much always a better quality uh, so free images good pixabay I use a lot I love pixabay because <laughs> what makes you think it's Halloween today wow it is Halloween by the way look at the date 31 10 right so let's do a Boston Terrier search in pixabay uh let's see images photos let's just try photos <coughs> <coughs> okay so it's pretty cool i've seen this one before i've used it in fact so quite a few of these i've used 
This is a nice collection. I've used this one before. I've used this one before. I've clearly been in Pixabay before. And now we've got to Fibromyalgia. So I think this is, the, oh, Pexels. I don't know why Fibromyalgia, oh, Unsplash. Sorry, I searched for Fibromyalgia. Here's the thing. When you look for the free stuff, a keyword doesn't always work. So before I do this, let me try this. I'm going to open this in a new tab. Unsplash is one I used to use back in the day. It was the first one I discovered 10 years ago. And I must admit, I must have downloaded a million pictures from here. Fibromyalgia. Mm. <clears throat> okay, so CBD oil and weed is always going to help. Um, and can you see, so she's put together a thing that doesn't really help. But let's go back here and put your Boston Terrier into Unsplash and paste it. And then see what happens if I search that. But while I'm at it, I'd like to test these in the ones that had good stuff. Right? So Pixabay had good stuff, right? right remember? Check there. Sorry we couldn't find any matches. So it's so dependent on your niche, guys. Boston Terrier on Unsplash came up with... 3,8 thousand, I doubt it. But these really are Bostons. Those faces are so cool. Oh, the criminal gang. Oh no, and Maggie. Maggie, you should be so embarrassed. These are lovely. Of course, I'm biased because I love Bostons. Looks like one person put up a lot. <laughs> By the way, you think a Boston Terrier is a dog, they're not. They're not normal. Not normal dogs. I've had many, many dogs in my life. Okay, so I've taken seven minutes to tell you that there are quite a few cool places. Pex, Pexels is cool. And let me show you what it does. Or was it Pixabay? One of the two of them. So it's either Pixabay. And just try this again. Oh, my bad. So let's just do, um, oh, it doesn't really matter. Um, one of them <coughs> correlates all of the sites together. So, okay, it's not necessarily that one. Let's try if it's uh, pixels. So 84 photos. Hmm. Maybe it's one of these I've been passed already. Flickr. No, it wasn't Flickr. Anyway, one of them takes pictures from all the sites together. This was the one that didn't really have Boston's. Can you see? <coughs> so let's try a leather on here. See, that's from Pixabay. That's from Pixabay. That's Kevin's one. And that's a person. These are people. But that one's from Pixabay. So what it does is it picks it off of sites that it can and can't use them from. Okay, so I'm eight minutes into this. I need to see if I have to include the free search. Open source, you would search for Google Images. Okay, let me do that. Because I think then free vectors are my next. Yeah, it is. So, okay. So, if you go into here and you pick, let's say, Boston Terriers again. So, this is what most of my customers do wrong. <coughs> Sorry about my frogs, people. They will search for a thing, they'll click on images, and then without any fear at all, they'll download these and send them to me to put on their website. And I'm like, uh, you can't do that. And then they're like, why not? Because you'll get sued for up to $10,000. And some of them mean it. Okay, so here's what you have to do. If you really, really want to just do a Google search, you do that. You go to tools and you go to usage rights and you do labeled for reuse with modification. Or reuse depends on. 
So once you do that, these are now all usable. So there's Wiki Commons. I was looking for that earlier. <coughs> Wiki Commons are cool for some vintage stuff. And then, so you see Flickr. So a lot of these are places that we've already known you can get them from. There's another Flickr. I have no idea who PX here is. Flickr again, common. So okay, as you can see, the ones that are free, open source, kind of do come here pretty much all the time. Oh, that's from back in the day, huh? So they look like a while back. Now they look like they drink a lot. And that's, I was going to say not, that's a French bulldog. There we go. Okay, so that's it, guys. At 11 minutes, that's pretty much where you'd get your images from. Just a comment. If you're going to download an image, so let's just say you, is this sponsored? Take care, Rob. Let's say I want, I really don't want that image. So let's find one. Yeah. So hiking shoes. When you do the download, I would suggest you don't pick the huge 5 billion, billion dollar one unless you're planning to crop it and you only want a section. So you leave it set on 1920 or around about 1 1.9 pixels, pixels wide, because that's the width of uh, most websites. And then when you click download, that's the one you'll download. And then later on, you will then have that one to modify as per what I'll show you later on. Uh, in fact, let me download this and I'll show you in the next video. So, no, I'm not a robot. Um, really? So, I'm not sure if I'm doing this right. Fire hydrants. Um, <clears throat> and then it sometimes asks you to, yes, say thanks or donate. But I don't think you need to or do any credits. It's just a case of, yeah, thank you. That was nice. Okay, so I'm going to save this image across to my to my desktop and later on we will use it as an example as to how to do things with it incidentally you can save images uh, most of them will be JPEG JPG JPEGs um, it could be your choice okay cool let's go on to the next one after this cheers